Hi, I'm Arlene Pelican, author of Parents Rising, and I have a few coronavirus stay-at-home tips for you. Now, in my book, Parents Rising, one of the strategies is love is spelled T-I-M-E, that your kids need time with you. Well, guess what, my friends? We have a lot of time, don't we? So, so many of us say, oh, I wish we had more time to slow down, play board games with the kids, spend time with them. I'm always so busy at work. Well, for many of us, that busyness has come to a very abrupt halt. So I just want to encourage you, don't bemoan this time, but embrace this time. And if you are at home with your kids, this is a time where you can have a lot of love, spelled T-I-M-E, time. So let's say you're stuck at home, like we are in San Diego, California, and you're not going out. We are a family of five and you're starting to get on each other's nerves and you need to get out. Guess what? I'm gonna show you 10 things you can do in your own backyard. Now, these are things that you can adapt to your family. Some of them are really good for little kids. Some of these things are good no matter what the ages of, are, of your kids. Some things are better if you have a big family. So you adapt this, but these are things that I think you'll have fun with. Now, you all know about the normal stuff, okay? You know, like throw a frisbee, you know, go play soccer, do chalk art, you know that. But today we're gonna talk about a few things that you may not know. So the first thing in my top 10 list is number 10, you can have a carnival at home. Now. This isn't something you would do every day, but you'll be amazed with items in your own house, what you're able to do. Now wait, first wait, my carnival people are ready. Now, all we have is a bucket of balls. These are ping pong balls. Now you can get these on Amazon. You can get 50 balls for about $10. So believe me, it's a good investment because you can do a lot with these ping pong balls. And then all of a sudden you can have a carnival from home. You can set up all sorts of games with buckets, with balls. You can bounce the balls. You can roll the balls. You can have relays, you can have all sorts of things. So here you will simply see a mixing bowl and a small, and look at them go. Look at them. They are in intense concentration, okay? So you can set up all these things all around your backyard. You're not gonna do this every day, but in the monotony, right, of being home every day, if you say Friday is carnival day, it's like, oh, what's that? And then you can set up all sorts of carnival games around your backyard. Now, if you are lucky enough to have an animal, <laughs> look at our animal, the golden beast of San Diego, otherwise known as Winston. Now, this is Lucy and she is our dog trainer. And if you're lucky enough to have a beast, you can add an animal to the carnival. Lucy, show us what Winston can do. All right, let's go to the hoop, Lucy. Go to the hoop. What? The hoop. Again, the hoop. Oh, Woo! <laughs> That's our dog. One more time. Woo! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the joy of the carnival. Is that not so exciting? Okay, so that's idea number 10, carnival. Idea number nine, come on over. So you're getting a lot of boxes, right? Because you're having things shipped to your home and you have boxes of all different sizes. So what you can do, if you have super big boxes, you can put those in your backyard and of course your smaller children can crawl through those and you can tell them, build a fort. And then if you have smaller boxes like I have here, you can have all sorts of things. So for instance, you can have abstract art day where <laughs> your kids make, and I know this is goofy, but it's what you're telling your kids to do, right? You're telling them, make abstract art, and then they take a picture. And then another kid does another one, and they take a picture, and then you have a contest, and then you show it to dad, and you say, pick the abstract art you like the best. Something that would be fun is to use these boxes to make a little city, so then they can bring out all their transportation vehicles, and they're outside because they're having fun, and all of a sudden, they can make garages for their cars, and all of a sudden, the boxes have become fun. Boxes are very fun, whether you stack them, whether you play with them. So idea number nine is make something with your boxes, have fun, use your imagination, don't throw them out right away. All right, 
Our next contest will be with Noel and Lucy. So if I could call Noel outside, please. The next thing you can do, number eight, is have a hula hoop contest. Now I'm really bad at hula hooping, so I guess I'll jump in too for fun. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Hula hoop contest. All right, hey, okay, and I'm out. Okay, <laughs> I'm out. Okay, this could take a while. So with your kids, you could be like, okay guys, let's do the hula hoop. <laughs> And then guess what? If your kids are good at it, you're like, awesome. They were outside for a whole hour doing a little bit of cardio. So number eight, hula. Let's bring Ethan out. All right, number seven. Now some of you may feel not so good about this one. So please forgive me in advance if you don't feel good about this. We are a Nerf gun family. Now I have to tell you, my friends tease me because when the kids were little, we didn't do Nerf guns because that seemed a little bit dangerous. But now that they're older, we have embraced their Nerf gun. But as you, so we have Nerf wars in the backyard. But when we do Nerf wars, we always wear eye protection, always. And in this case, for our demonstration, Lucy, come forward. Don't worry, so go for it. He won't shoot you, Lucy. So as you see, we have face protection, chest protection, so we're good. So one thing you can do in your backyard is you can have Nerf Wars, and I do, again, emphasize the eye protection. Now, as Ethan is holding this gun, this is not a normal gun. You think this is a normal gun. It's not, because my son, he's got a hobby, and that's modifying Nerf guns, all right? So let us demonstrate the power of the Nerf gun. <laughs> and that, so that was Ethan's highlight of the day and how I got him to do this video. Okay, so number seven, Nerf War. So we've had 10, Carnival Day, nine, the boxes, eight, the hula hoop, seven, the Nerf. And now we're gonna calm it down, Noel. Come on over with me, dear. Now, your backyard can also be a special time to have one-on-one -on -one time with your child. I know, because you're all together. You can take them out one by one. Have a seat here, Noel. And you could have a time where you just take out one child, right? You sit in the backyard and you say, how are you doing? I'm doing good, how are you doing? She's doing good, that's doing good. Great. You can have a little chat, see how they're doing. Are you disappointed about the things you're missing in school? Not really. You're okay <laughs> now, okay. Or is there anything I can do for you? So you're asking these kinds of questions to your child. And then you can have this one-on-one -on -one time and you can pray with them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pray for you. Because we know that we all need that extra prayer. So we're gonna pray for you. Lord, we thank you so much for those who are watching today. And we just pray, Lord, your grace on their home. We pray your health over their families, their mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, grandparents, um, for our children, our grandchildren. Lord, we pray your complete health and peace of mind, strong bodies. We pray for your strength for our healthcare workers, that they will have everything that they need. And Lord, give us courage and help us to be a blessing to our neighbors. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So that's something, right, very short, but something meaningful. And you did it right there in your backyard. And I really think by taking one person out at a time, that makes it a special time. So number six, in your backyard, you can pray. All right, on the flip side, number five, you can set up exercise stations and you can have the whole family. So all you have to do is you need space and you assign each space an exercise. You do the exercise at that space and then you say switch and then everybody rotates. So Ethan's gonna be doing push-ups. Lucy's going to be doing squats. Noelle's going to be doing lunges. Why not? I'll do jumping jacks. All right, ready and begin. So all of a sudden, you've got a station. And then we say switch. And then we go this way, sure, sure, sure. Go this way. And then, do you guys remember what yeah. was done? I don't, pretend I'm doing push-ups. I don't want to do push-ups. <laughs> no push-ups. Okay. So all of a sudden, your backyard is what? an exercise place and you're not cooped up inside and look you're fit and strong yeah. like ethan yes we're fit and strong like ethan all right come on over now let's play another game now this is a game that is known by all and it's musical chairs and of course the larger your family the more fun this is going to be if you only have one child this is going to be kind of boring but for those of you who have five children or more this could be a lot of fun so everybody up I'm gonna give you some na 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 kind of music. Here we go. Na 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 na
<laughs> so you can do musical chairs in your own backyard. I'm going to show you a variation that you probably have not seen before, the variation. So if I could have you guys stand in a circle, you're doing so great. Got my true girl hats for my friend Dana Gresh. So here we go. So what you do is you have your kids. They can, they can sit. So ideally, this would be sitting down. It could be in your backyard or it could be inside your home as well. And when the music goes on, what's going to happen? It's just like musical chairs, but it's musical hats. So if someone doesn't have a hat, he's going to take that hat. She's going to take this hat. She's going to take that hat. Get it? So once you lose your hat, you take the hat. <laughs> okay, so she would be out. So again, musical hats. All you need is some baseball caps or any kind of hats in the home. And you sit in a circle and you, ha you have one hat less than people. Okay, so if you have eight people, how many hats do you have? Seven. Do you see the math Whoa. being worked into this video? Seven hats, okay? So musical hats. So that is number four is musical chairs and musical hats. Come on over here for number three. So you can have an art gallery. So we have a traveling artist. Her name is Lucy. That's my youngest. And Lucy has been very busy painting. So if James, my sweet husband, is working as our able cameraman today, so you can see here Lucy's art. So you can have a backyard art show where your kids do art. They could be doing art all week and then make a little sign that says art show Saturday, 2 p.m because to look forward to something, that's something we've kind of lost because the things we were looking forward to, maybe they've been canceled. So if you put on your calendar, Saturday at 2 p.m. we're having an art show and everyone's painting towards that, that could be really fun. You can even expand this out. I heard of one family that they did it in their front yard and then they texted their neighbors to do the same and then they had a neighborhood art show like in the front yard. Isn't that a great idea? So that is an idea. So an art show. All right, we've got all the way to number two. Now this one, Noel, come on up. You're up for this one. This one is a very unusual <laughs> one. My husband, James, is very creative. My daughter, Noel, wanted to learn how to play tennis. So we have created ghetto tennis, my friends, ghetto tennis. And what this means is she will hit the ball to our patio table, which you have seen is now in a different position, resting on two chairs. So if you have a patio table, you could potentially, <laughs> too, have ghetto tennis. All right, so here, perhaps you will see, yes, Noelle will demonstrate to us ghetto tennis. Take it away. Look at this, in her own, <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. And there it goes in our neighbor's yard. Okay, uh, yeah, now she's feeling it safe because the other one's on the neighbor's yard. The balls are wet. Okay, you, we, had, we had rain yesterday, so we have less than ideal conditions, but you get ghetto tennis. Now, of course, of course, what could happen is you might, you might get to know your neighbors a lot, but that's okay, ghetto tennis. So, number 10 was Carnival Day. Number nine was the cardboard boxes have a fort. Number eight was the hula hoop competition. Number seven was the Nerf guns. Number six, take a child out alone, time of prayer. Number five, exercise stations. Number four, musical chairs or hats. Number three, art show number two ghetto tennis and ladies and gentlemen number one what we have done my friends is we at the pelican home have done a huge outdoor project show them the beams james <laughs> show them the beams so these beams have been painted by my family for many 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 hours how many hours people a lot of hours. And so you see here our paint, you see here our beams being painted. So this has been an ongoing huge project for our family. I'm gonna ask my family to come around me and let us show them what we've been doing. We've been <laughs> painting like this, we've been like this for hours. Pass me this, give me this. Is it time for lunch yet? <laughs> okay, so hey, you have a project? in your backyard now my friends now is the time to seize the project so you know what from winston and all of us here whoo, at the pelican household we want to wish you a blessed stay at home these are ideas you can use in your backyard you can read my book parents rising in the comfort of your own backyard 
And I hope that time, T-I-M-E, that time you're spending, it really will be a time of love between you and your family. Thanks so much for watching and please share this for anyone with anyone you know that feels cooped up at home because there's a lot to do outside that doesn't cost much money and that can bring you together as a family.